Oh, oh nice. Hello people around the world. How are you all? Hope you all are going great. Today I have came with a new guest. Her name is Jasmine. Jasmine the beautiful flower. So <laughs> to know more about Jasmine, who is the what she, what she is doing? Let's move to the Jasmine. Over to you, Jasmine. Please introduce yourself. Um. Well. All right. Well, I'm Jasmine Schmally. Um, I'm a licensed nursing assistant, and um, I work in an assisted living facility and everything. And um, I love helping people. It's my lifestyle. It. It just. I'm so passionate about it. And um, if you're wondering why I have a mask, a face shield, and a gown on, it's because my facility has been dealing with a COVID outbreak since Christmas time, so it's been hard. And myself has been have been out for ten days because I had COVID, but I was asymptomatic, so <laughs> got lucky there. But um, yeah, I mean. That's pretty much who I am in a nutshell. <laughs> Great. Great to know about you. Uh, uh, you said that uh, you love to uh, serve the people, love to help the people. Great. Uh, can you share your uh, life story? Actually, uh, uh, all the guests who come on my life, uh, sh- live show, they share their life story, their struggles, from which mm-hmm. me and my viewer learn a lot of things. So please share your life story. Over to you. Oh, my life. Oh, okay. Well, mm, my life story. Okay. Well, um, my life story begins. Well, uh, I have to say, June of two thousand nineteen. No, no, it actually started. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna start two years ago because that's when it really began. Because that's also when I got my LNA license when I was 18. So anyway, um, in August, I get my LNA license and um, I start, I got a job at a nursing home um, around my area. And um, it was, it was a good place. Well, I mean, it was a good place considering I made good money and everything. But um, the thing that kind of made it hard was because I had to work third shift which is the overnight shift. And um, let's just say I wasn't, I wasn't used to it. And I only lasted for seven weeks. So I got fired from there. So um, here I am, I'm just looking for LNA jobs around my area. And I keep getting turned down. And I was just getting to the point where I was like, all right, fine. I will work at a fast food restaurant just to have a job and make money. So I applied to Burger King because they were, you know, hiring. And um, <laughs> and it was on my birthday, too. So and I got an email from them back saying I was hired. So I was like, yes, happy. Yay. <laughs> I got a job. Finally, it's not what I wanted, but it, it was a job. So I start working there in June and um, 2019 and um, it, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. I mean, the people I worked with wasn't bad, but the money I was making was ridiculous. I was making 1075 an hour. I mean, <laughs> I'm not even going to start with that. So anyway, I'm just working and stuff and, you know, I was working hard and everything and, they ended up promoting me to manager, and um, it got to the point where I had I was running the whole entire restaurant by myself in the mornings for like four or five hours straight doing everything that you could think of. I was doing it, and um, it was good experience, but I was getting so pissed off. Like I was like, really, what is my life? My life is not about being in a stupid fast food restaurant. My life is about being a caregiver and taking care of people. That's who I am. So February of 2020, I 
was looking through Indeed, uh, like a Indeed is a job website. No. So, and I found out that um, my facility was hiring. So I was like, and something just washed over me. I was like, okay, I'm doing it. I'm just going for it. I don't care. I know it's going to work out. So I did. I applied. And the next day when I was working at Burger King, they called me and they wanted me to come in for an interview. So I'm like, all right. All right, great. So, get scheduled an interview. Come in, and long story short, I got hired and stuff, but I didn't know how many hours they could give me. I knew I was working doubles every Sunday, which I didn't care. And um, they were like, so, we can give you doubles every Sunday, but we're not sure about how many, how many more hours we can give you. And I'm like, okay, fine. So, in my head, I'm like, all right. So, if... My facility can only give me 16 hours a week. All right. I'll still work at Burger King, you know, just to make money. And if my facility offers me full time, I am taking that, leaving Burger King. All right. So here I am. <laughs> and um, yada, yada, yada. Matt Orion. No. Oh, I got sick. So um, pretty much told my boss i couldn't work because i was sick so i was out for like a week or so had my inter had my orientation with um my facility and um they were, they were they pretty much offered me full time and i'm like yes i'll take it i will so take it and plus it was on it's on second shift and everything just what i wanted so i'm like all right good and then <laughs> when i came out i called my boss from Burger King, and I was like, hey, dude, what's up? So, um, just saying, I'm not working at Burger King anymore, because this facility just offered me full-time, so, see ya. Peace out. <laughs> so, um, I started working there and everything, and now I'm here. A year later, pretty much. Well, February 18th is my year anniversary. But um, I've been working, I work an average of 56 hours a week, which is great. And my schedule is great because I work doubles every Saturday. Have three days off a week, and if I want overtime, all I have to do is pick up just one shift on Tuesday, and voila, I get eight hours of overtime. Plus, with this pandemic that's going on, we're getting hazard pay. So that's an additional $600 two weeks. So... <laughs> Pretty hefty paychecks. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's my um life story. Long story short. <laughs> Thank oh, you. God. Thank you for You're sharing welcome. your story. Actually, it was You're very welcome. amazing, very funny too. Uh, you <laughs> enjoyed your life uh, by telling your life story. Uh, mm. Thank you for this. Uh, my next question to you is that how COVID situation in your country? Uh, the, in the, these days. Uh, can can you repeat that, please? How COVID situation in your country? My situation in my country? What do you mean? Just in general? No. Uh, general. Just in general. Okay, in general. All right. Well, the situation in my country. I mean, I mean, in the place I live in, anyway. Um, it's pretty good. I mean, <laughs> I'm very fortunate to live where I live right now, because it's like, I'm sure in other places across the country, uh, across the world, it's a lot harder, so I'm just very thankful, and, um, but what's going on with our government right now, it's absolutely atrocious, and I just, I just can't stand it, like, I'll just put it this way, I hate politics in the United States, it's just... It's just so ridiculous how people just fight about stupid things. It's like, dude, dude, government is supposed to help people. It's supposed to be for the people. So, like, instead of fighting, how about if you try to compromise and talk things out? You know, I think we're pretty evolved by now. I don't think we need to fight like we used to stupid but yeah overall it's it's not bad it's pretty good okay 
overall situation is under control great uh, can you share uh, uh, about covid vaccine how it experience in your areas um well for my facility i know we're getting the vaccine on january 18th but and i am so taking the vaccine i don't i don't care i mean i'm taking it no matter what um anywhere else i'm not really sure but um actually i know the facility that i used to work at before is got theirs today so i think so um that's pretty good but yeah um it's pretty much all i know about that oh, okay great does uh, as you are working in the hospital and you are dealing with covid patients too Uh, my question to you is that does uh, does you found any side effect of this covid vaccine uh, any uh, any okay i don't know if there's any side effects to this vaccine yet cuz i haven't taken it i mean like i said um we're getting it on january 18th and, but i don't really know if there's any side effects i don't know <laughs> okay you are okay great Uh, can you sh- share uh, why you select uh, this field as a uh, your career <laughs> why i picked this field as a caregiver well that's easy i love helping people and the elderly is one of my favorite populations cuz they've been through it all they've been here longer than me and i respect their wisdom and i want to make their remaining years of their life pretty darn good and besides i love helping people in general so the fact that i can do it for my career is just amazing cuz it's just i go in there i help people and i come home feeling so satisfied that i made at least a difference in one person's life it just it means a lot to me <laughs> great 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 you love to help the people you love to serve the people that's why you can uh, this feel and select as a your career Do you love your field uh, your field? Yes, you I do. Fan? Yes, okay. I do love my field. Yes, I do. I do love oh. my field and you, you what's interesting is that I wasn't the one that decided to do this myself because back in ninth grade I had no idea what I was going to do but my mom she was the one that planted the seed that gave me the key. She's like Hey Jasmine, you'd make a pretty you'd make a good LNA. Here, here's a couple of links that you should check out. And we're then like, wow, that's so me. So, it's really because of her that I'm here right now. Amazing. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> Amazing. You are here in this field because of your mother's great. Uh, can uh, can you share with us about your passion in life, patient, patient? My life. What? What? My, the patients I take care of? Right? Patient. P-A-S-S-I-O. Patient. Uh, Your vision. What? Your vision. My, my vision. My, <laughs> sorry. I didn't quite catch that. Um, My vision. Oh, that's easy. To spread as much positivity and kindness to everyone I meet. Um, That's not really a challenge right now, but I swear... I want to go big someday. I want to go sure, big. You win. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much my vision, you know? Just seeing everyone get along and just be human beings and realize that we're all human beings and we're all connected. So, you know, just be nice and understand other people, you know? We're all connected. Great, yeah. <laughs> great to know that. Where you see yourself after ten years in oh, life? Geez. Oh God, <laughs> I've I've heard. Oh, I've been asked this question so many times. To be honest, ten hmm, years. Well, right. One thing I do know, I am definitely going to be here in ten years because I am never leaving this facility. Nope. This facility means way too much for me. I could never leave it. And I already told my 
I already told my supervisor, it's like, I am going to be here forever, so you can count on me. <laughs> but, I mean, other than that, I really don't know where I'm going to be. I know I'm going to be in the healthcare field. I might have my LPN license by then, but like I said, I'm not too sure at the moment, and I'm not going to think about that stuff right now. I'd rather focus on the now and take it day by day. (laughs) Great. As you know, everyone has their uh, ideal. Everyone has their someone who is inspired by someone. So can you share uh, what are your three ideal personalities from whom what you learn? Please share with us. Mm, My ideal... Okay, my ideal personality. Okay, um, all right. I have mine, but um she was a member <clears throat> that um lived here at this facility and I took care of her for ten months before she passed away in um November. So um I can't really say her name, but um I'll try my best. So anyway. I started, I, okay, so I started at my facility in February of last year, and, um, I met this member, and, um, oh my god, we just, we, we just, we just clicked. I mean, sure, the first couple of months was hard, you know, because, like, she used to be a nurse herself, so she knew what was going on, and she knew, she could tell if someone had a lot of experience or had no experience. And I pretty much had no experience. So, like, she was kind of, like, just a little mm, cautious with me. But um, after a couple of months and stuff, you know, we really bonded and everything. And we had a, we had a lot of good memories <laughs> and stuff. And um, sure, um, can't say, I mean... We had a couple of arguments, but we always came back and communicated and everything. And then it just got to the point where she only wanted me to take care of her. And every day she would be like, Jasmine, I love you so much. You you take such good care of me. I want you to know that. I'm like, oh, come on. No. She's like, yes, you do. I'm like, okay, thank you. (laughs) And... You know, there'd be some a couple of times after I put her to bed that, you know, I just clean her room up a little bit and, you know, just spend time with her. And she really appreciated that and stuff. But um back like a couple no, like four months ago in like November, before she went to the hospital, um something happened and I got upset with her and I didn't speak to her for a day or so. And I remember the day that she got sent, she was in the dining room and um, I was just doing my stuff. And she's like, Jasmine, I'm like, what? And she's like, are you mad at me today? And I'm like, no, I'm not. I could never be mad at you. But and then after that, she got sent. And then on November 22nd, I learned that she passed away and. Oh my god, it was nighttime and I just started crying so hard because like, oh my god, I didn't speak to her those last couple of days and stuff. But I'm it's good now because I realized that she's up in heaven and she's watching over me and she loves me and everything. Just the other day, which was weird, I was listening to my MP3 player and one song came up, and this is the song that would r- remind me of her every single time I listen to it. Oh, crap. Okay. Anyways, there, this, there was this one song that came up that I was listening to that would remind me of her every single time I would um uh, listen to it. And so I come back upstairs, and I just happened to go to the kitchen. And what the heck? the heck is going on? Oh, okay. And what the... So anyway, I go up to to the table and I find a white feather. 
on the table. I'm like, how? What? Oh, okay. And I find a white feather on the table, and I'm like, oh my god, no way. So yeah, um, she, out of everyone that I have known, she is my ideal personality. Because she was just... She was awesome. I I miss her still. <laughs> great, so yeah. Great, great. amazing. Uh, you shared with us your favorite personality, your ideal personality, and her uh, memory you share with us. Uh, can you please share with us what three things you have learned from your life experiences? Please share with our viewers. Oh, three. Okay, three lessons that I've learned. All right. Um, all right. Number one. Mistakes aren't bad. They're learning experiences. In the past, whenever I'd make a mistake, I'd be like, oh, God, I'm so bad. Oh, my God. Why did I make that mistake? But now it's like if I make a mistake or something, I'm like, all right. What can be learned from the mistake I just made? So that way, I will not make it again. So that's one lesson I've learned from my experiences. Number two, I can do anything if I put my mind to it. For example, the way I got this job. I wouldn't have gotten this job if it weren't for me just jumping and be like, all right, I'm going to do it. I can do it. You know, just having a positive attitude about the whole thing. So that was another thing I learned. And um, number three, um, I learned that I'm actually a very social person. I actually do like talking to people because um, back then, a couple years ago, I never would have ever thought about doing this. Like, if someone mentioned that I would be getting interviewed by you in two years, I'd, I'd probably look at them like they had three heads. I'd be like, what are you smoking? Like, no. <laughs> but here I am. So, yeah. So, um, yeah. Great. So I, uh, you shared uh, what three things you have learned from your life uh, that mistakes aren't bad. Uh, they are good. They are good for experiences. And mm -hmm. there are other things you also share. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Yep. Uh, so great. Yep. Uh, my next question to you that uh, Jasmine, the flower, how was she as a kid? How was she as a kid? How was I as a kid? <laughs> yes, you. <laughs> oh, great. Um, I was... This is funny because I actually spent most of the week watching home videos, so... I have a pretty good idea of who I was as a kid. And, and I have to say, I wasn't much different. Well, all right. I was more dramatic. I was I was a nice kid. I was happy, happy-go-lucky. You know, never. I mean, I'd, I'd used to be very vocal. I used to cry and, you know, kind of have temper tantrums and stuff. But um, in general, I mean, I haven't really changed. I mean... I was just a good kid. But then again, I had a good childhood, too. My parents were the best. And I loved them so much. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, yeah you, share, you share your childhood. Uh, how was you as a childhood? You share with us, with our viewers. Uh, my next question to you is that, uh, as you told in last previous one question, that you also love to be a social so, does you involve uh, ever in any social activity? If yes, can you share with our viewers? Am I involved in any social activities right now? Well, um, hmm, right now, well, all right. I used to be involved in one social activity before this pandemic hit. Um, I used to volunteer um, somewhere where they'd serve free dinners every Wednesdays, and I used to go and... um. You know, uh, serve the food and stuff there. Um, and I volunteered there for like five years or so. Um, but since this pandemic hit, I haven't been able to volunteer there. But um, yeah, I guess I could say. And then 
I I guess working at my facility could count as another one, right? I mean, uh, that makes sense. But, like, other than that, I've been sticking close to home because um, I really don't want to go out. <laughs> I really don't want to risk anything. But, yeah. That's Great. my answer. Great. Amazing. You shared you love to serve the food every Wednesday to the people who need that's a really amazing, amazing work you are uh, doing. Uh, my co next question, and I uh, actually I'm not taking too much time of you. Uh, no, 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 it's fine. I told, yeah, no, you're fine. Okay, I asked one or two more questions, not more than this. Okay, that's fine. Okay, great. Uh, my next question to you that uh, as you are also from the health field, yeah. And you are doing a wonderful job uh, serving the people. Uh, and actually, how was your experience working as a health health uh, staff or a health uh, nursing assistant or working oh. in a health department? Please share your experience. Oh, gee, I, I love it. Oh, my God. It's well, it's fun. In general, it's it's fun. And that's the most important thing. But um. There's some times where you can deal with some pretty crazy stuff and everything. So, I mean, I guess it really depends on the day. But, you know, it's great because at this place, you're encouraged to, you know, go into their rooms and spend time with them. Because right now, they're just stuck in their rooms all day. They can't come out because they have to quarantine. So, it's like, we're encouraged to go and just spend time with them, you know. So, that way, they're not feeling lonely. There's a couple of people that ring their pendants just so they could have someone to talk to you for a couple of minutes, which I completely understand that. Um, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I, I like, like I said, I love helping people. That's, it's very rewarding for me. I, I just like it. Um, my experiences, well, um, I can't really share my experiences because I don't want to, um, violate any um privacy laws or something so i'm not going to share but what i can share is that my experiences have been positive and um yeah they've been good great your experience remains positive and very good great to know that uh, my next question to you that what three things about you you like and what three things about you you want to be modified in the coming days? Over to you. Okay. All right. So three things. What? Three. What three <laughs> things you like about yourself? And okay. what three things you want to modify in coming days about yourself? All right. Three things that I like about myself. Okay. That I can answer. All right. Three things that I like about myself. Okay. Hmm. That's an interesting question. <laughs> Um, well, number one, I like, I like my, um, positive attitude. Like, I, I'm not really, an, I'm not a negative person. It's like, I see the bright side and everything. It's like, I ref even in the darkest of situations, I refuse to just be negative and be like, ah, it's so depressing. And no, I don't do that. It's like, if I'm in that situation, I just think I just be thankful that I'm just alive and I'm I'm there in that moment, even though it can be kind of hard. So yeah, I that's that's one thing I like about myself is how positive I am. Makes things a lot easier. Um, number two, let's see. Um, I like. Oh God. <laughs> oh God, this is a hard question. Um. Oh, this is very hard. Okay, second thing I like about myself is how funny I am. Yes, I have a huge sense of humor. I, I like being funny. I mean, even if I'm being interviewed I like this, I kind of like having a sense of humor because um, it'd be pretty boring if you're watching an interview and uh, the person is just serious. And it's like, okay, this is kind of boring. <laughs> So um, I try to inject a little humor wherever I go. So that way it could be a little bit more enjoyable to watch from the sidelines. That's another thing I like about myself. Um, 
third thing. I like how open I am, you know? I mean, within the past couple of months, I've really opened myself up, and I've I've started trusting people more, even people that I don't really know. I just, I just let my intuition guide me, and it's been pretty good. Okay, I'm hearing. <laughs> um, okay, I'm in. Yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, thank you so much uh, uh, for sharing three things you learned, uh, you love about yourself. Amazing. And uh, uh, viewers, we today we have Jasmine. Uh, she is sharing her life experiences, her view, uh, her her experiences, her life stories. She and uh, what she have learned from her uh, life struggle. She sh she is sharing with us. Uh, uh, Jasmine, not taking too much time. Uh, just final question to you: Can mm -hmm. you give any any good any interesting message message to me or to my viewers? Then we oh, will yes. end the show. Yes. Order. Yes. Here's my chance. All right. So okay. if if you guys are watching me right now, don't be afraid to connect with me because I like connecting with new people. So. Go ahead. Shoot me a friend's request on Facebook. Message me. I don't care. I'm here. Um, let's see. Um, if you're also watching this, try to perform three random acts of kindness e each day to people. You know, just, you know, just be, be positive. You know, look at the bright side. You know, try to do something different. You know, see where that gets you. But yeah, um... That's pretty much it, you know. Just don't be afraid to reach out to me. I'm open, like I said, I'm open. <laughs> so Great. yeah. Great. Uh, you you said to be positive, be open, and do whatever you want to do. Amazing message to our viewers. Uh, viewers, today we have uh, we have Jasmine, and uh, in the next live show we came with an new guest and learn more new things about new uh, new guest uh, jasmine i feel honored and privileged to have you on my show thank you for, for giving your uh, giving for having you to our show and and share your life experiences with us thank, thank you so you. much thank, thank you everyone bye bye bye, bye, -bye.